I am live on YouTube because this Sunday is the Royal Rumble. And there are nine matches scheduled and two of them are on the pre-show where Buddy Murphy is defending his Cruiserweight title in a fatal four-way against Hideo Itami, Akira Chozawa, and Kalisto. And Rusev is defending his United States title against Shinsuke Nakamura. And then on the main card, one of the matches is The Bar defending their tag team titles against The Miz and Shane McMahon. We also have... We also have on... We also have on the card both women's titles on the line where Ronda Rousey is defending her women's title against Sasha Banks. Asuka is defending her women's title against Becky Lynch. Daniel Bryan is defending his WWE title against AJ Styles. And Brock Lesnar is defending his universal title against Finn Balor. And we have both Royal Rumble matches, which is which is both men and women's. And both the men's is 30 men and the women's is 30 women, where the winner gets a title match at WrestleMania. And we know that our truth has number 30 and Carmella has number 30 because they won the mixed match challenge to get number 30. But more than likely, those two will not be winning the Royal Rumble because, because I mean, it does, I mean, it, it is an, a, the luckiest number if you're number 30 is, is a huge advantage, but, but it, it, it does not win all the time. And, and there are other possible candidates to win the Royal Rumble this year and then main event WrestleMania. But I guess we'll see what happens on Sunday, on Sunday when both matches are over and we'll see who gets a title match at this year's WrestleMania. But I think, but one thing that I think should happen at the Royal Rumble is, is for someone to be added to the, to the WWE title match because AJ Styles already challenged Daniel Bryan for the WWE title. I don't think anyone wants to see that again. I don't think anyone wants to see that again because it's already happened a whole bunch of times, a whole lot of times last year. And another thing that has to happen as well is that I don't know how, but somehow even what I think what has to happen is that all the top Raw superstars have to cost Brock Lesnar the universal title so Finn Balor can be universal champion and get his due over from three years ago when he had to vacate the title after winning it because he should be universal champion and the universal championship has to appear on Monday Night Raw and that's because Brock Lesnar is a pirate timer then the title has to appear and that's one of the reasons why the ratings are low and even, and even WWE superstars are leaving for all elite wrestling and there's a whole lot of signing with All Elite Wrestling and there's the possibility of a whole lot of superstars leaving and the WWE is trying to retain their talent right now because it's because of the way they're not getting the push that they deserve, a whole lot of them. There's a whole lot that get called from NXT and then they don't get the push when they get to the main roster and they, they either have them on SmackDown, they do what they have to do with them and then on Raw, they kill their careers. So the Universal title has to come back. And the Universal title has to come back to Monday Night Raw. So that way, Raw can have better ratings and stuff. Especially when it's three hours long. And they have to squeeze in stuff f to fill the three hours. But I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And I think that... Brock Lesnar should lose the Universal title and that someone should cost him the title. But don't get me wrong though, I'm a Brock Lesnar fan, but he's a part-timer, so. And for over a year now, nearly two years, he's held that title and the title has not appeared since that time. 